Hello, welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Stephen Stokes with Remax Sunshine here in Cape Coral, Florida. This house, oh man, this house. They went against all the rules and they made it work. And I can't wait to show it to you. It is so different, so unique, a little twisted. I love it, right? 2,197 square feet, four bedroom, three bathroom, golf access in 30 minutes, right in Southwest Cape Coral, Florida, in the center of everything. Let's look together. The landscaping alone, I could do a whole video on just the landscaping alone of this property, but let's go in together and take a look. And you'll notice the details like those cool air conditioning slots in the ceiling there. It opens up into this beautiful living area. Look at the ceiling here, accent electric fireplace, nice big doors out to the pool area. We're going there. Notice the flooring that runs throughout the entire house. There's the front entrance with that chandelier. So right away as we go in, a little different, but it gets a lot more different, trust me. Stay with me to the end. Wait till you see the private beach that you're gonna have down by water, by the waterfront. So anyways, back to here. There's our electric fireplace. Very nice with the accent wall. The furniture is negotiable. If you like it, we'll do a deal and you can keep it. Here's the kitchen. Of course, that's quartz countertop with the waterfall the pendant lighting that is so popular, white design. Notice we have the microwave oven and the glass cooktop that are separate. We have that trough sink, very nice and clean looking. There's a, if you can see it there, there's a wine cooler there to the right in the island with your dishwasher. There is a rain hood here above the glass cooktop. Let me just get that for you and turn that on. I always forget at least one light. If you watch this channel, you know that. That is a seamless flow quartz backsplash. Haven't seen one of those before either. Something, again, a little different. Something that I think I like very much. Check this out. Here's the view from the kitchen. And here to the right, you'll see we have this formal dining area with that beautiful window. And how about that accent wall? That blue, I like it. The matching ceiling up top that matches the ceiling in the main part of the room. And you'll notice there we've got that bar outdoor kitchen. We're going to go out there and look at that in a minute. Something I really want to know is, what do we think about electric fireplaces? They're now going in all the homes. What do you think about these electric fireplaces? Yay or nay? Let me know in the comments. Now, this is four bedrooms. So we go down the hallway and this is laid out so good. Here's our bedrooms. I mean, this house would be a fantastic vacation rental home if that's what you want to do with it. Or if you've got a big family, but you want privacy, this is the house. You've got four bedrooms and wait till you see the one on the front. It could make a beautiful office. I'll show you that shortly. Here's the bedrooms. And look at these embossed bifold doors and voila. How about that? Look at that. So the closets are all built in which is so nice to see. Again, the embossed slab doors. Here's the other bedroom, number two. And as I mentioned, if you just want to turnkey this, you can. You'll notice that they have the TVs in place. Real nice. Down the hallway, here's our third bedroom, but this is the one that I would take, if I could, as an office. Look at the bright, of this room. You've got those three beautiful windows. Now those are on the front of the house. When we were coming in, you didn't see those because of the crazy landscaping, but it works, right? You can sit in your office, you get the feeling of outside and all the light. You're not staring at the road. Great idea. I love the fact that they went above and beyond on the landscaping. Wait till you see the landscaping in the back of the home. And here's your bathroom and look what they did here. You've got the shower and the bathtub at the end, right? And then they put that big window above the sink, not above the shower where they always put it. Look at that. You've got that. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up. And as always, tell me what you think. I always want to know what you think. As long as you're not excessively rude, <laughs> I keep the comments and I usually respond. Of course, none of my subscribers are rude. Here's that electric fireplace and we're going to swing over and look at the main bedroom here. But first, another look at this entrance. You'll notice there, there's that blue 
accent wall that matches the accent wall we saw in the formal dining area. There's a good look at both of those. It's nice. I would do something with those doors to obscure the glass so nobody can see in. Other than that, I like it. Let's in lots of light. Here's your laundry area, full size washer dryer. You've got a sink, nice countertop and storage. Speaking of storage, here is the garage. Now, negative, right? There's only a double car garage here, but it is oversized. And there's an epoxy floor, plus look what they did. They added all of this storage, this bold black storage with the fridge there. That's kind of neat. And there is an access door here that leads to the outside, which we'll look at in a minute. Okay. Here is the bathroom off of the living area, which is also going to be your pool bath, right? But, I mean, this is nice. Frameless shower door there. All glass, nice accent tile. There's your door going out to the pool area. That's real nice. Here's the main bedroom. And again, this is such a different layout. I like it so much. I like to see something different. Look at this. Nice job here with the accent wall behind the bed. I just like how the builder of this home has put the orientation of the main bedroom differently than mostly what we see, right? Now there is no sliders from here going out to the pool area and you'll see why when we go out to the pool area, but instead we do have this pretty remarkable main bathroom here. Double sinks and we do have a wet room. Look at this. So they've made this very special. We have the shower over here to the side, really tucked out of the way. Of course, beautiful tile job, right? But you have this tucked out of the way here with the great drains and stuff and the beautiful pebble texture. And then on the other end, we have the tub with a nice frameless piece of glass there for protection. And we still have that window above the sinks. So I really like this, nice and bright. Here's your closet. Now it is just a single closet, so you'd have to share this with somebody, but it is pretty remarkable and large. So tell me what you think of this as a main bedroom. Are you okay with no sliders from the main bedroom out to the pool? You know, in my house, I have sliders from the main bedroom to the pool, and I got to be honest with you, I never use them. I never go out of my main bedroom to the pool area. Never use them. There's blinds there. I never open the blinds. Just me. Here's the pool area. Notice the ceiling. A little bit of a tray ceiling there. Nice furniture. And another accent wall with a massive TV and an electric fireplace. All under truss here. Nice place to get out of the sun and relax. But how about this full bar area? Look at this. We've got an outdoor kitchen here. Really nice job here. Rain should. And we've got that beautiful glass window there. Let me turn the light on. Got that great uh, big glass window there from the, from the main dining area that you can sit and look out through, right? Everything there for a party. <laughs> and then you can see, again, this is all under truss, protected from the sun. Look at that. Great job. And behind me here, of course, we are now on the lanai, or we're in the birdcage, as people say. Look, we've got all these clear view panels and check out the landscaping. So this is the controversy, right? By the way, you see the speakers. As I'm doing this video, there is reggae music playing all throughout this home. Nice. There's your spa and gorgeous pool with a, with a sun shelf. Just beautiful. But now the key is, right, there's all these beautiful clear view panels that normally you wouldn't landscape behind the pool so that you could sit in your pool and look at the water. Here they chose privacy. So you can see they went out of their way with a lot of very expensive, beautiful landscaping to create more of an oasis feel back here. And I mean, it is, it is so nice back here and you have so much privacy for whatever you decide to do, right? Wink, wink. Look at this. Speaking of privacy, they put in this nice little wall here. How about that? To get a little more privacy. Behind it here, uh, you have all of your pool equipment. We'll go up and look at that all later. But you can notice to the left here, we have this big hedge of vegetation and landscaping. Again, more privacy. This 
paver, walkway, all the way down to the waterway. And there's another look at the privacy hedging. How about this, guys? A massive dock, a beautiful 16,000-pound boat lift, and a cover, right? Now, where is this located? This is only 30 minutes to get out to open water. You go right through Finister Lake to make that happen. So it's great access. And by the way, only one bridge, and that bridge is 10 and a half feet tall. Look at this. Here's your own private beach. Look at the sand they have here. Can't you just see somebody vacation renting this house, having a boat here, enjoying the privacy of the pool, all the vegetation? This is tropical living, Southwest Florida living at its best. Look at this beautiful vegetation they've put in here. And again, golf access in 30 minutes or less. There's the beach sand. You can put a few chairs out here. You can have, you can lay out here on the beach, get a suntan, or you can take your boat out. And look at all the pavers, the retaining wall, and the landscaping. Again, I have not seen a home like this with such beautiful landscaping in this area. I live about, oh, 10 minutes from this house. It's got a clay tile roof. And just to uh, show you, I'm going to walk up the side here. Here's your pool equipment. Again, this house is a 2022 home. It's only a few years old. Here is your AC, and you can see the AC for the garage. There's your door to the garage. Garage is fully AC'd, which is kind of neat. Pavers all the way around here with the privacy to the front of the home. And that is my truck. Long story, the white Mercedes, somebody decided to uh, <laughs> give me a bump while I was parked uh, on Del Prado. So that's going to be out of commission for a while. But now we're driving the Ram truck. Of course, I'm very happy with the Ram truck. It's like an old friend. Um, yeah. So very unorthodox. Interesting build, right? I can't wait to hear your comments about this. For me, I got to be honest. I like it. I like sitting back here. And I like the privacy. I'd rather have the privacy than my neighbors looking at me across the canal. But I'm a different kind of a guy. Let me know what you think in the comments. And before we go, I have one more question for the viewers. Do you know what this is right here? <laughs> I don't think my son would know what that is. But hey, I know what that is, right? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.